All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the day the Integra is headed out of the garage. I'm actually uh, not getting rid of it, but I'm actually going to pay somebody to paint the car. I've thought about it a lot. Car is really worthy of a paint job. It needs uh, a little bit of work on every panel. It looks pretty good from a distance, but this fender here is completely flaking of clear, and there's several other issues all around the car. Uh, I decided I didn't really have time to tear down and repaint this car myself. I didn't really want to invest a year of my time in this car and then have to deal with everything that comes with painting a car. As, since I do have other projects going on, uh, like this CRX that I am going to B18C swap, I've got some transmission work to do on the B18C swap that's in that green CRX. And honestly, I picked up another CRX and I'm going to show it to you here in just a moment. First thing, let's get this Integra pulled out of here and uh, let's make some room for the new car. All right, well, here it is. This is a 1989 Y49 CRX SI. The car has been repainted like a Mustang yellow, so it's not the original Y49 color. It's a little bit brighter than that pale yellow. Uh, the car's gonna need a lot of work. I don't think it's going to need as much work as the previous car that I just did, the 88 CRX Restore Project. I'm basically gonna do a similar type situation to this car here. I'm going to be stripping it down basically to bare bones as much as I can that's reasonably achievable in this garage here. I'm probably going to try to leave the dash in there unless it's just necessary to remove it. Uh, we'll, we'll see once we start pulling things out of here. Uh, just the overall idea of this project here is just to get it restored back to like an original condition, just a little OEM plus type restore. Maybe throw some European headlights in like I did previously. Maybe not. Maybe just stick with the USDM ones. Um, hopefully I can find like a front lip on here, uh, just different things just to get it back to original nice shape. Uh, there will be probably some aftermarket stuff because a lot of stuff isn't quite available. Uh, I will be looking for a hood. So if uh, you know of any of these uh, items that uh, you have or anybody that can get me one uh, reasonably uh, achievable here in Kentucky, let me know because I need a hood. I'll be need some headlights, the front lip, like I said, possibly a front bumper. It's got a little bit of damage up here. I haven't really looked too closely at it just yet. Uh, the door handle is broken off, but I do have one of those. Uh, it's just 
aged from being down in Texas. This is a Texas car, so there really isn't any rust on here. There might be one little spot on the quarter panel that I can cut out and uh, weld a small little piece on in the back here on the quarter arc. One tiny little bubble. Uh, I'm going to be needing new uh, tail lights, a whole new set. I do have some spare tail lights over there, but that was really kind of my backup spare for my car. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to buy another set or if I just use my backup set on this car um, as I tear it down and rebuild it. I'll be making those decisions as I move along. It's got some sort of uh, dual exhaust on here. I, I believe I saw uh, some paperwork that was sent with this that said it was like an OBX exhaust. So that's like mid early 2000s stuff. This thing has been down since 2018. It hasn't been driven. It has a like a VTEC e-swap. Uh, as you saw, it's not the original A6 motor that was in there. Uh, so it doesn't run very well. It has a, a P06 uh, chipped ECU with Han data, but the tune is not right or the injectors are stuck. There's some something going on here. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to leave that engine in there or if I'm going to yank that thing out and possibly use the B16 over here. We're going to see uh, as this thing progresses and I get it torn down and just how things work out, what I'm actually going to do. But uh, I think this is a, a pretty good deal. I got it uh, fairly cheap. I'll talk about that in just a second. The interior is actually in pretty good condition uh, if you overlook the seats and the, uh, the little rips in the door panels. All the rear interior is in there. It's all intact. None of it's really too broken up. I will be able to reuse all that. Uh, I've actually already ordered some seats. They are on their way from Europe. I'll show you that in a later video. Let's go ahead and pop the hood here and take a look at this engine again. Except for the fact that this is really nasty underneath here uh, from sitting so long. Everything is put together fairly well. Uh, nothing looks severely damaged or missing. The wiring looks all intact. It's got OBD1 distributor on here and a OBD1 to OBD0 uh, conversion harness. The VTEC is wired up, so that wiring is there. That will be ready for the B16 swap if I decide to go that route. Uh, this thing's running like crazy rich. It doesn't really want to idle very well. Um, I'm not really going to worry too much about that aspect of it. I might do some diagnosing just in case I want to sell this engine. I'll have a good idea of the health of it uh, because I'm probably most likely going to put the B16 in this car. I really think it's going to uh, make this car come alive and it's really going to be a, an appealing car uh, having it been repainted with the original color and just restored back to original other than like some upgrades, OEM Plus upgrades like I was saying earlier as well as a, an engine swap that everybody is going to be happy with, a B16 over like this VTEC E. I'm going to uh, just pull this thing out of here as soon as I get this thing registered and titled in my name. And then this is going to come out. We're going to re be prepping this engine bay, respraying it, replacing everything that needs to be replaced, uh, just getting it cleaned up just like I did last time. Uh, hopefully it'll be just as easy and this thing is going to turn out. I am going to be repainting this whole car. Uh, jams and all because the paint job that was done on the car was uh, just a terrible paint job. I don't know. They, they did, didn't do a lot of good masking. They didn't take a lot of stuff off the car. A lot of overspray on different areas. So it's really going to need a lot of a cleanup and tear down and pulling things apart just like I did last time. I was hoping maybe I could get away with doing like an exterior respray, but that's not going to be possible just considering all the the issues on the overspray and different things like that. And this engine bay, even if you cleaned it, I have a feeling that there's going to be some uh, damage to the paint and it really won't look that great. And they didn't do a very good job of clear coating under here, if they even did clear coat from the factory. I don't think they even did. It is an AC car because it is from Texas. Uh, I haven't confirmed if it works yet. The previous owner said it, it doesn't work. There's a leak in there. He had replaced the compressor at some point. So that's a good sign that we'll, we'll get the AC working in here again without having to drop a lot of money, hopefully just some seals and recharge it. We'll see, that's a, later down the road, pretty far away. Uh, the car is pretty much stock per se, as far as like how it's put together. It does have an intake. There are some ground control coilovers on here and some uh, KYB AGX shocks. So it's kind of like that early 2000s stuff. Uh, this is a VIS carbon fiber hood. It's seen better days. I may try to sand that down, re-clear it. This might be for sale, I'm not sure yet. We're gonna see how that goes. All right, luckily the car does come with the original 88-89 SI wheels. The center caps are not on there right now, but I do have all four center caps. They've all been painted black, so all this stuff's going to have to get sanded down, prepped, and painted the original silver color. 
the center caps do have a couple of tabs missing, but if you saw my previous video, we do have some 3D re uh, printed repair kits for those, so that won't be an issue. The body of this car is actually in really straight condition for its age. It looks a lot cleaner than a lot of the CRXs that I see out there. There's not going to be a whole lot of body work, I'm hoping. I don't see any major dents or dings. Uh, there's some, there are minor door dings, things like that. That's not going to be a big deal. Those are pretty easy to fix. There was a one little bubble on the other quarter panel over there. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a big deal. I'm hoping that, that it's not bigger than I think it is. But there's one little tiny speck. Once we sand it down, we'll see exactly what it is. I may have to cut out a small section there, like I was talking about earlier. But overall, that's really going to be a, a, a big improvement over the black CRX. Because I did have a lot of body work on that car, especially with those doors. It's that extra door I had to buy and repair. Hoping I don't run into that with this car. I do need to find a hood. I'm hoping the hood that I do find doesn't need a lot of body work. There aren't a lot of choices here in my area for hoods. So I'm going to cross my fingers on that and hope something pops up between now and the time I'm ready for it. All right, hopping up here to the sunroof, you can see that it's black and it does have a little bit of surface rust on it. Previous owner did tell me that he replaced the sunroof panel with an OEM panel. So this is a Honda panel here. It's metal. So there is a, a layer of primer on here that he put on there to keep it from rusting, but that primer didn't hold up too well. There's a small dusting of uh, rust on there that I'm hoping will sand down pretty easily. There's no bubbling at all on the panel, so that tells me that it's not rusting from the inside out. This thing was inside of a building being stored for many years, so that's a, a big win on the sunroof panel because those are kind of hard to find now. So that should be able to be an easy fix as well. So the interior of the car, while it's really dirty, it's going to need a really deep clean. The overall condition of all the parts in here is pretty good, I would say. There are a few cracks in the dash as usual. I'm going to probably get the rubber mat to put up there like I do on all the CRXs that I have. Because finding an intact dash that doesn't have any cracks in it, it's nearly impossible these days. So that's not really a big deal. The steering wheel is pretty worn out, so it will need to be replaced. Uh, the shift knob's worn out. All the standard wear components will probably need to be replaced. Things like the shift knob, you can still buy new. E-brake handle is, is roasted, so it'll be, need to be replaced or repainted. Carpet, I'm not sure yet if I can clean it up uh, completely just yet. I'm going to pull it out, pressure wash it, scrub it down, see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out, we may end up ordering carpet. I've, I've gotten lucky and I haven't had to order a carpet yet for the cars that I have uh, worked on, but I think they're still available aftermarket for a couple hundred bucks so that won't be a huge expense overall in the car the door panels are the seat belt door panels which i don't like a lot of people are, are kind of indifferent but they cause problems with the actual seat belt getting in there and getting hit and damaging them both of these have damage the driver's side is the worst as usual so i'm in the market for door panels for an 89 to 91 crx si for the u.s model that has the door mounted seat belts. So uh, leave a comment below if you know somebody that has those for a, a decent price. I don't want to overpay. I'm not looking for uh, new stock or like or new old stock stuff. Uh, just something that looks nice and better condition than what I've got. As I have with all the other CRXs, I'll be utilizing the Golden Air Parts uh, door seals and gasket materials to replace these uh, flattened and hardened and torn uh, weather stripping to help improve the feel of the doors and keep the water out. Overall, in my opinion, this car has really good bones and it's a good candidate for a restoration. I'm hoping it goes as well as my last one did as far as the final product. I'm hoping it actually goes a little bit faster than that last one. The last one took a couple of years off and on because I did set it aside for a few months here and there. I'm really not sure of the timeline of this restore. I'm just gonna be taking it week by week, doing as much as I can, just like I usually do, since I do have a full-time job outside of this YouTube stuff and working on cars. Uh, the car itself was purchased for $800, but I had to pay $1,200 to get this thing shipped to me. So I'm in it right now, $2,000 as it sits. I haven't spent any money on parts yet, other than those seats. The uh, previous owner actually did send a bunch of boxes of parts here. Some of them are old parts, some of them are new aftermarket parts, just like maintenance items from just years of, of replacements that he's done on here and just extra parts he's had. Uh, there's a few items over here, a couple of ECUs. The ECUs are actually stock CRX SI ECUs, the PM6 is here, so uh, those are a couple of spares I've got. If uh, anybody's looking for one, hit me up because I've got them right here. I'll end up selling them most likely. Uh, there's some other uh, stock Honda parts here, red label stuff. 
Not exactly sure what all he included. There was a lot of different uh, items. Some of this stuff will come in handy during the restoration process. So overall, I think it's a pretty good deal so far. Uh, I have to just be conscious of what I buy to replace on here. I don't want to overspend because the market for CRXs is really kind of all over the place. You can still get them for a thousand bucks all the way up to thirty-five thousand dollars. It just depends on you know the condition and things like that. So I don't want to put too much money into the car where I'll never get it back. But I do want to make it a nice example of a Y49 because those are somewhat rare. But let me know your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section about this car. Anything you might have to say about it, uh, what you liked about it, what you don't like about it, what you think I should do to it, or um, really any kind of resource you might have available for parts that I might need. Let me know. I'd really be interested in hearing what you guys think about this. If it's something that you guys uh, would like to see, I, I think it is because it's a Y49. A lot of talk about those and the curse that these things have. Uh, hopefully it doesn't curse me on this uh, rebuild. We will see as I dig into it, like I've been saying. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to dig into this just yet as far as like just diving right in or if I'm going to go ahead and get this engine bay painted and this B18C swap put in. I know that's going to be a little bit of work that I've kind of been putting off uh, but I really want to get this done. That way I can move this car out of the way uh, before I can really get too in-depth with this uh, disassembly because otherwise this thing's got to uh, stay running and it's got to stay assembled so I can move it out, move it back in every day uh, while this thing just sits here. So let me know what you think and we'll see you in the next video.